Hey, good morning. It's Travels with Dottie, and here I am on a Wednesday morning. And you know, I always have to check. It is the 17th of April, 2024, and Dottie and I are going out for a little walk this morning. And I'm trying out a new little piece of equipment um, for my GoPro. I've got a, uh, a kind of special selfie stick that um, is a little bit easier to use and a little bit longer than the one I have been using. And also, it's kind of cool. It doubles as a tripod. And then it folds down real small, fits in your pocket. It's pretty nice. <clears throat> there's, uh, there's Dottie. Sniffing around. I swear, all she wants to do when we walk usually is just, just intensely sniff the ground. Um, then every once in a while, she'll want to go fast. It's a real pleasant morning. Not a cloud in the sky. It is, it's really early. It is 6.18. I had a really good night's sleep last night. And when I sleep well, I tend to get up pretty early. Well, it's Wednesday in T minus 24 hours before, I believe, Dave and Regina, my good friends from Dallas, are going to be here. Hopefully, I got a message from David. I missed a call from him. They had some, they had some trouble with, uh, their rig going up, I guess, mountain passes, and he was looking for a place to flush his radiator. Um, and was just, uh, it's a, I believe it's a diesel um, class A. But anyway, he was asking me, do you know a place in Pahrump that, you know, maybe I can get it done there? And I'm like, God, I really have no idea because, you know, I just, the only motor I get service is my truck. And, uh, you know, the tire works, I don't think works on class A RVs. They couldn't possibly even fit one into their garage. So if anybody out there that sees this this morning, I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> no. <laughs> I have the leash around the uh, selfie stick temporarily, and uh, she pulled on it. So if anyone out there in Pahrump, or anyone that knows the Pahrump area, knows a place uh, he could get a class A have the radiator flushed and maybe looked at, I'd appreciate if you could just throw that into the comments. <clears throat> um, I know I probably don't have a lot of viewers that are local on front, but I have a lot of front videos, so I might get lucky. Um, I know at least one guy that's local. I did a video. Oh, a couple of weeks ago, and I just kind of doing a tour, and I said, I'm driving down the street, and I said, here we are in beautiful Pahrump, Arizona. I didn't notice. <clears throat> he had a great comment. He's like, well, Rob, first off, you're in Nevada. You're not in Arizona. And secondly, I forgot what the secondly was, but it was not as bad as getting the state wrong. <sighs> So I'm going to turn the camera around here real quick, and I'm going to show you a couple interesting things here. This is where the office is, but I'm real concerned about the office. I want to show you something else. Here's this place. Cat's Corner. Check it out. Keep out wildcats. So we'll keep out, but we'll look. There's water over there in little con kitty condos. Now, I've never seen a cat in here, but I do see <coughs> the wildcats. And so is <laughs> so is Dottie has seen this. She goes crazy when she sees a cat. I don't understand why she goes so crazy and barks and acts all aggressive because we have George. It's not like a cat is a new thing. 
I'm going out here. I just want to go up here and kind of put the camera over the top of the fence here so you can see how beautiful it is back here with Mount Charleston in the desert. And here we go, there's Mount Charleston. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. <clears throat> you know, you can hear a pin drop here in the RV park. And granted it's six in the morning, but I'm telling you, you want to take a little walk at about eight o'clock at night, it's really just as quiet even when it's full. Oh. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk up through again, because I know you've already seen this and you've seen all my videos. We're gonna go through the little koi pond area and everything. Now, <clears throat> I was about to say, now Dottie seems interested in just walking instead of sniffing. There she goes. Getting a little exercise, right, Dottie? Um, <laughs> I mentioned uh, we went to the vet, and I thought I had done so well cutting back on Dottie's snacks that she would have lost weight. She did not. <laughs> she actually gained 0.4 pounds. <clears throat> She's 30.4 and the doc is saying, we, we need to get her down to 27. And you think, oh, well, that's only three pounds. But on a 30-pound dog, that's 10% of Dottie's body weight. He said, what you got to do is you have to cut down on the serving size for her meals. Dottie gets a breakfast and a dinner. And I've been doing pretty much a cup of ground beef and uh, vegetables. So we're going to have to cut it, cut that down to maybe half a cup, three quarters of a cup. I've been doing that. And, uh, no, you can't go on the grass. Sorry. No grass. <clears throat> um, they don't want the dogs peeing on the grass for obvious reasons. So we're not going to pee on the grass. Oh, we're going to get a little wet here, aren't we, Dottie? Come on. I know. It's a little inconvenient. Here we go. Come on. Now we're back to sniffing. Here's the koi pond and the look at this raging river here. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, we got tangled up a little bit. Look, there's the koi. Hello, guys. <laughs> Come on, Daddy. Oh, and there's Mr. Duck. Hi. Hi, Mr. Duck. Usually he runs away from me, but I think I was slow enough and quiet enough today. And as far as I know, it's just one duck that's here. Now, they had told me that... Um, there was a crow big crow with a broken wing that was living here and a guy was feeding it every day and uh i have not seen the crow in a couple of weeks i, I can't imagine that's good news for the crow thanks daddy
I don't know if you can see up in the sky there, but if you look straight ahead above that tree and squint, <laughs> you'll see a hot air balloon. It's a fairly common thing here in Prague. There's, I don't know if you can see it. There's another big koi in there. And this is where the really big koi are in, in here. They're wondering, they see me and they're like, I wonder if he's got any food. Because there's a little dispenser over there, a quarter dispenser for fish food. So they're wondering, has that guy got food? Oh, boy. Oh. Well, I'm trying to figure out this. Uh... There we go. We're turning around and take the hat off. Oh. Sitting on a little bench here, enjoying the morning. The peace and quiet and the sound of the the sound of the water. And uh thinking about um the kinds of videos I've been doing. It, it's just it's been uh it's been hard to think of um content you might find interesting, but what's um pretty much this is very interesting to me, but um, when I do my ordinary day kind of thing like this, people seem to enjoy it and I get views. If I try to go out and do something exciting, not so much. <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty interesting. Um, so today, um, I'm getting my new, uh, uh, camera, which I'm pretty excited about that, um, is just a little bit different type of camera. I'll still be using this camera for kind of the action shots. Um, but this other camera called the Osmo DJ, or it's, excuse me, DJI is the manufacturer. And yeah, it's the same manufacturer as the, um, uh, the drones that you see DJI, but they also do cameras and microphones and they've done this, uh, camera that this pocket sized camera with a mechanical gimbal on it. And I'm sorry if you don't know these terms. I didn't know these terms until I started doing YouTube. But the bottom line is that is is a camera, I guess with the accessories and everything, it was about seven hundred dollars. But um you know the base price is six hundred something. I mean there are accessories you need to buy. Um it is basically comes close to very close to the quality of maybe four thousand dollars worth of professional equipment, and for that reason, the um, YouTube has exploded with a very very positive reviews on this camera all over YouTube, and it's resulted in very high demand for this camera. In fact so high that when I tried to buy one, I couldn't get one. I couldn't get one in less than a month. And I noticed there were YouTube videos. This is pretty funny. Check this out. Dottie is like, sees the, oh, sees the duck. I thought it was the fish. Dottie oh, sees geez. the duck. No, Dottie, bad girl. That's just not okay. You, that's not okay. You're going to get in trouble with that duck. You do not do that to the duck. I'm really surprised and embarrassed the tiny did that. I'm sorry, little duck. Oh, I did not expect that. And that duck is not intimidated. He's coming right back over and saying, this is my pond. <laughs> oh, okay, Dottie, be a good girl. You can look all you want, but no barking or lunging. Good thing I had the leash secure in my hand. I'm so sorry about that, Mr. Duck. But the duck does not seem traumatized. The duck seems maybe a little pissed off, but... No! Hey, no! No! 
And that was just the duck flying off to the other pond. Dottie decided to bark. There's no barking. No. Dottie. Boy. I hope I didn't wake anybody up near in a spot near where I'm sitting with the barking. Um, but the duck's gone. So where was I? Oh, um, so YouTube videos that say, you, you know, you can't get this anywhere in less than a month. And I'm like finding that to be true. I went the manufacturer. I went, um, I looked at Best Buy, Amazon, and I started doing Google searches. And um, I did see, I checked B&H Photo, which is out of New York City. Um, you know, it started out many, many years ago as just being one of those big um you know, uh, camera shops in Manhattan. And it, it grew into this um, national sort of online business and they've been doing very well for years. And I went to their website and uh, there's the the camera with the kit that has the microphone and everything, which I don't need because I already have DJI microphones. So, uh, the kits were sold out, but just the camera itself said it was in stock. So this was night before last it's almost midnight so i go ahead and order one and and i'm thinking you know it's probably maybe just a mistake that it, it it's on there or they haven't updated the stock because I, I just can't believe that no one else in the country including the manufacturer has a camera available to ship and these guys do so i contacted them the next day and uh and I said, you know, I, I had this order and I just want to make sure it's really in stock. And uh, they came back. They 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 didn't just look at what I was looking at. They took some time and they came back and they said, yeah, yeah, it's it's going to be shipped out today. You're going to have your camera tomorrow. <laughs> really? So um, I was really shocked by that. And uh, sure enough, I got a notice that it, it was... Uh, picked up by FedEx and it's on its way and it's going to be delivered sometime today. So um, I'll probably do a video on receiving that camera and how excited I am about it. And so many of you, it'll just bore you because you really don't care about the equipment I'm using. But for me, it's, 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 for me, it's pretty exciting. Um, uh, I'm kind of a gadget guy and kind of a nerd and um, and I'm anxious to see what kind of shots I can get with this thing. And it's so convenient. It fits in your pocket. I can't wait to show it to you. And so I use that term gimbal. And you've probably maybe seen these things where um, either the cam, mostly it's the camera. You put the camera on this sort of rig that um, uh, has a motor that will move the camera on multiple axes. Right. And so it'll keep it steady. Now, the GoPro here keeps shot steady. I can shake around, but it does it digitally. <clears throat> when you do it digitally, it crops the image and it just it, the, the quality suffers for it. But when you have um, a mechanical motor that keeps the camera steady, it really improves the quality of the shot. So this is a little pocket camera where the actual camera itself is has a gimbal built into wait till you see it built into it and it's not, not very big it's about as big as a selfie stick really and then the other thing it's got a sensor in it um, and I didn't realize this was a big deal but it's like it's a little camera with a one inch sensor and I'm like okay that sounds like a small sensor for a small camera. It turns out a one inch sensor is a big deal for a small camera. It's very, very big. And the bigger the sensor, the higher the quality of the, the shots. So um, the other thing it'll do is you can set the little camera on a tripod and set that gimbal to track your movement. So I can be, you know, use this microphone that I'm using right here, the DJI 2 microphone, will hook um, wirelessly directly to this new camera and I can have this on and I'll be able to walk away from the camera, wander around and the camera will automatically track my movements and I can talk and be far away and you'll hear me crystal clear. So that's another reason, but, um, hopefully you'll see some improvements and, 
um, my videos after I get this camera. But where I'm way, I'm way more excited about David and Regina getting here on Thursday and Friday. And um, I'm going to interview them and I'm going to, for you, I am going to open the door and allow them to tell any Rob story they want to tell. And I'm sure I'll be embarrassed, but I'm sure they will make you laugh. That's, um, that's for sure. So, um, Dottie, Dottie, you've calmed down, haven't you? The, the bird's gone. And, um, my public apology to the, to the duck here, and we'll make sure that that doesn't happen again. I'll be a little bit more careful when I bring Dottie out here. But as usual, I just, um, Love it that you watch my videos, and I, I have a lot of gratitude for that. Thank you very much. And um, next video will be when they deliver the camera. Take care.